All right, guys. All right. We recently had some Reason to Season 3 news, quote unquote, drama, some leaks from this guy named 122, who is a Chinese leaker who seems to have Season 3 under its wraps, claiming that it's just ruined, bro. And Blue Lock is also cooked. But hey, we got some good news. Lore Mipsum Verb, this Twitter account that posted that update, has some actually good news this time, not Doomer news, so let's check it out. So, after yesterday, how about some actual positivity with leaks? Here are some things that you should expect from ReZero Season 3, things that have been really been hyping me up. Strong animation around priority episodes, especially with the average level of animation easily blowing Season 2 out of the water, with some episodes likely surpassing even the peaks of Season 1. So, we know that there's going to be insane fight scenes coming up in Arc 5, right? They call this the Marine Ford <laughs> of ReZero. And if you don't know what that is, just imagine an all-out warfare, just non-stop hype fights. And for that kind of episode, you definitely need to bring the animation up. Season 2 is mostly just dialogue. There's little to no fighting, right? There are some scenes, but compared to Season 1, I guess there's not that many reasons to have cra crazy animation. A lot of animator names that those of the Sakuga community regard in high esteem. Sakuga is a term when you min-max, right? Basically just going all out during scenes that really matter and the budget just improving. There will be a lot of familiar faces from outside the Japanese animator sphere, uh, sphere too. With Twitter webgen animators also partaking in some episodes. I don't know what this is. But it sounds like beyond Japanese animation, they've also outsourced from a broader international talent pool. And this is homegrown... What is it? What is Twitter webgen animation? I have no clue. A lot of care towards keeping the story script adaptation something fans of the novels will appreciate. So the source content, right? It's going to stay very loyal to that. Obviously, there'll be some cuts, but looking at the big picture, I've seen just how much Tape's increased involvement in the project is resulting in even more subtle lore references being maintained. So, one of the beautiful things about ReZero is the fact that Tape Nagatsuki has a personal connection with the people over at Studio White Fox. Therefore, the content has been such a loyal and well adaptation compared to, let's say, Tower of God, where, you know... <laughs> I don't think a Korean author like SIU really has any connections to this new studio, right? So it's 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 gonna be a loyal, faithful adaptation, hopefully. A sensible, flexible-ish schedule that has changed a couple of times to reflect on the internal status of things so that things won't be rushed into Panic Station if it airs. I don't think people really give a fuck about the work condition of animators, right? Most of the consumers don't even think about that, they just want a good product. If MAPPA employees, for whatever reason, went on a strike during the height of Shibuya incident in Jujutsu Kaisen, do you think that the consumers are going to blame MAPPA? Or do you think they're going to blame the animators, right? But it's looking like there's a flexible, uh, maintainable schedule that's going to not cause, you know, bad situations in the company work culture, but also the episode itself won't be rushed into panic. In fact, last I know, production is already deep into second core overall, and work on arc 6 should have started too. Pre-production definitely did, even as early as 2023 for it. This is actually the main meat I hear of ReZero Season 3. Now, Season 5 is supposed to be the Marine Fort, right? Season 5 is supposed to be this crazy stuff where... Sorry, I think I have to ban this guy. Season 5 is... Sorry, Season 3 is supposed to be a crazy battle arc right, right off the bat. But what happens then is like arc 6. And I don't know exactly why it's supposed to be super hype. People are saying it's just peak fiction. People are basically saying, like, think about all the crazy shit that happened in arc 1 and arc 2 regarding Subaru's, like, nightmares, the traumas, the difficulty, the insane death that he has. Arc 6 is supposed to be, like, the pinnacle of that, which a lot of people just love so, so much. Killer VA performances, as is typical of ReZero, and great soundtracks to boot from Suedo and Co. Kenichiro Suehiro, we obviously know, right? Very important uh, composer. That's also done soundtracks for Eminence and Shadow, right? What else is there? Uh, Isekai Shikaku right now is also happening. ReZero, we know. The soundtrack just hard carries some of those animes, but with ReZero, I think it just adds to the, just like the whole cinematic experience. 
some extended episodes as leaked beforehand by myself, but I don't know how many that'll be in total. Don't expect to go expecting every episode to be an extended length. And we're not touching any of the leaks. A lot of passionate core staff on the project that truly buy into the philosophy that the old core staff had left into a project. This is the kind of scary thing, right? Even though it's same White Fox studio, it's been eight years since season one. People leave, 10 years leave, right? People jump jobs, the new people show up, old people retire. Can we really capture the energy that Reezer was created with back in the day? And it's sounding like, you know, the core philosophy, they have a vision, they have a culture there that the, you know, the old core staff has left into their project. So perhaps the will has been inherited to the new talent. So fingers crossed. A surprise Stride and Melinda appearance. Okay, this one was a joke. I don't know who Melinda is, but I do know that Stride has, <laughs> like, Stride Valakia. Um, it's kind of spoilers, I guess, but Valakia is the name of the Southern Empire that we border with uh, to the Lunica Kingdom, just to kind of get you hyped up for future characters. And boom, just like before, right? what I tell you guys? Blonde hair. And this time, she's not showing us her eye color, but we see the fangs. The three main traits of Lugunikan royalty is blonde hair, red eyes, and fangs. Belt has it. That's why she's theorized to be the lost princess that was kidnapped in the past, but... Alright, alright. Now, let's go down here. Thank you, Ice, for giving hope to the community. I genuinely am so happy that Season 3 has the potential to be a better adaptation than Season 1. I think it definitely has the potential currently, and could be regarded as such by many people. Though speaking only around my personal view, I think from a, co a component of the whole Sakuga wise not content adapted, Season 1 may yet be hard to beat. But it doesn't need to be Season 1, to be honest. I I'm perfectly fine with more. Is there anything more here? I would have to also agree do feel somewhat sad that it's, what, 16 episodes or something. I feel like it's not a whole lot of information. Wait, it's more than 16. No, 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 no. It's way more than 16, right? Because it's, like, separate to multiple parts. That brings me back. Is arc 6 going to be three quarters? I don't fucking know how this is going to work. When I saw the leaked episode, I found its animation consistently better than season 1's. Am I tripping, or is it something that a lot of people can agree with me on? I personally don't think it was overall because I prefer Season 1 Sakai as CAD, CD overall. I don't know, these are more advanced animation shit. Chief Animator Director and Character Designer. Just more terminologies to kind of like hint at like stuff that I don't, <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know what the hell's happening here, some Spanish memes. I also, I, I really understand nothing about production, but shouldn't it be worrisome to hear that the arc might be starting now? Isn't it too late? No. Like I said, no, it's been already since 2023. It's been pre-production, right? Arc 6 ready, I just can't say 100% sure right now, production-wise, with the current release schedule, that it's very good compared to most other anime. Wait, wait, wait. You said that the production of the third season of ReZero has already progressed into Chapter 6, Arc 6, I guess, in pre-production. The third season of ReZero uh, <clears throat> is only supposed to have five chapters, right? No. Though I don't know what they'll call to the wider audience, internally, Arc 5 and 6 are both being produced in sequence for the Season 3 project. Good. It's technically not public information, but you can trust me or use the hints like Melly's recent character design or blah blah blah. So, I think that overall, the... I think that overall, we're good. There was some Doomer leaks from... China regarding that 122 guy, but still, I think that like we should be cautiously optimistic. But again, I'm just I don't know any of these people, like who knows how, cre how credible they are. But at the very least, even with the Doomer news, there's even more positive news and Reaser Season 3, which is gonna happen in about what is it now? One week, two week, in roughly three weeks ish, right? Less than, a little bit less than three weeks because it's airing on October 2nd. I think that we have an amazing season to look forward to. So that's pretty much it from this one. I'll see you later if there's more leaks.